Hello Scorpio, I hope you're all well. In today's reading we'll be looking at whoever's on your mind for the rest of the year. It's a very romantic person I'm getting right away. Um, you'll like how affectionate, tender this person is with you. They're also a great flirt. I see them doing little things um, to catch your attention, but to also make you feel appreciated. This person's, well, really, I'm getting a knight in shining armor, literally, because the knight is walking into the five of pentacles. Five of pentacles is walking into the ten of pentacles. So if there is any difficult situations that arise during your time together, um, you're going through some difficult emotions, a loss of something, someone, um, this person will be very supportive and attentive to you, your needs, Words of affirmation are coming through. This person's energy is extremely uplifting. And some of you may meet this person around the time you may be going through some either financial troubles or maybe you were ghosted or left out by someone. But there's an energy of feeling lonely here. And it's almost you meet this person and ten of pentacles. You have a family. You have this solid support system. I'm getting this person comes from a stable background, um, perhaps even a wealthy family, right? It doesn't get better than the Ten of Pentacles. But regardless, they represent a sense of emotional and material security for you. You'll be extremely fulfilled within this family unit. Nine of Cups, emotionally fulfilled, emotional and materially secure relationship after a period of challenges. Person's also physically very attractive. They're exactly your type. King of Wands, Page of Wands, Ace of Wands. Some of you may have a child with this person. I'm definitely seeing children if you're of childbearing age or just a family unit, right? I'm seeing that this person has a lot of people surrounding them with the 11th house and sun. They're extremely charismatic and popular in their friend group or just in a community at large. And you'll like that because this person's opening new doors for you. Um, new energies will be entering your life as a result of this relationship. And you'll really get along with this person's friends, families. You'll really like them. And they will like yours is what I'm seeing. So I see a lot of get-together celebration uh, within the family. Perhaps you even hosting some get-togethers at your home. As time goes on, I feel it starts off as very flirty you know, back and forth banter, a lot of chemistry, and as time goes on, I see a very strong friendship here developing. Um, the, the longer you're together, the stronger your relationship is, is what I'm feeling. It just gets better with time. You really enjoy this person's company on a day-to-day -day basis, just doing little things, even running errands, doing chores around the house will be more enjoyable. Family friends will be putting you as a couple on a pedestal. I'm seeing you'll be a well-known couple um, in the community or at a larger scale, depends, right? We have four of wands, six of wands. It's being publicly acknowledged. Your person may have some sort of status, higher status or some following. I'm definitely getting that. They're financially extremely stable. King of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Tenth House. They're great at networking, and I'm seeing a lot of socializing with co-workers, authority figures, people of high status really is what is coming through. Another thing you'll really appreciate about this person is they'll help you with your emotions, especially if you're prone to negative thinking. We can be known to be a bit extremist, black or white, right? Sometimes I'm seeing... <laughs> I'm seeing heavy emotions here, but this person will help you um, sort of balance out your emotions, see the positive side. They're, I'm seeing a more optimistic mindset for this individual with Sagittarius coming through back to back. This person doesn't like to hold on to past hurts or linger around in any situation that's stagnant for too long. They're always looking forward to the future, like look, looking at the bigger picture. We also have focus here, so I'm getting this person's extremely, well, ambitious with the King of Pentacles. They go after their goals, their dreams, and they believe in long-term investments. You won't see this person taking any unnecessary risks. 
and they're in it for the long haul, you'll like how loyal this person is to you. Despite them having all these eyes on them, they don't care. You're the one they want. There's loyalty, emotionally and physically, which can be difficult if you're as attractive as this person is, right? That combination, King of Wands, King of Pentacles, Six of Wands. But yeah, this person can definitely introduce you to opportunities that can help you advance when it comes to your career or just financially in general. I'm seeing work parties here with the 5th house and 10th house. If you're a woman watching this reading, then definitely this can be your husband, right? 10th um, house in Vedic astrology it does represent a husband and a well-known one. It, this can be an entertainer, a performer of some sort, or someone who's made a living out of some passion project. They're extremely lucky when it comes to their career. People naturally gravitate towards them. They're well-liked, and a part of that can be that they're quite diplomatic on a day-to-day -day basis. They don't like to rock the boat here. Um, very charming in social settings. Good social skills are coming through. But I see 7th house and 11th house talks about mutual friends and you bringing your friend groups, your family, together. I'm getting a humanitarian here, right? This person will be extremely protective over you, your pets, your children, but they also care about other people and humanity at large. Um, they believe in doing the right thing and they want this world to be a better place. So I, I won't be surprised if this person is a part of some organization or volunteer groups that is coming to mind. Some of you, this person has advanced or is in business with a best friend that is coming through. They can be self-employed. I'm seeing entrepreneur here or someone who may travel for work. Doesn't have to, it's a general reading. <laughs> this person's very flirty. You'll like that. Little. So now we'll look at Oracle cards and if anything else comes to mind. I will mention that. But drastic shift here in energies and your circumstances as a result of you meeting this person. That's drastic. We're going from the Five of Pentacles, Five of Cups to the Ten of Pentacles. This is your soulmate because the, the figure here is mourning the Three Cups, right? Which is the Five of Pentacles. It's rejection from family, friends, a lover, something to do with a job, being let go of, right? But behind you is the Two of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Wish Fulfillment, everything you've wanted. What will Scorpio find attractive about the one? Hopefully I can make these short because I am short on time. I keep saying romance, so this person, yeah, King of Wands likes to do things on a large scale, so extravagant <laughs> displays of affection. Whoa, what will Scorpio find attractive? They're also someone who's very assertive. I don't know if I mentioned that. I'm getting a strong masculine energy. Um, I mean, they have that more feminine energy with the Knight of Cups. They can be soft, receptive. They're a great listener, but when it comes to their career and when they feel they need to step up, they can. They have the courage extremely confident and they'll help you. Yeah, I'm getting a self-assured energy, someone who knows who they are and what they want. And they're extremely determined here with focus. Okay, yeah, okay. Feeling unwanted and self-worth comes through. And we have five of pentacles. It can be insecurities, right? So this person will what you'll like about them is this person will make you feel like you belong. If you've been feeling left out, no one wants you, especially romantically because I see all these hearts. Yeah, there may have been some codependency here, Scorpio, in your past relationships. And this person's teaching you how to be self-reliant, especially emotionally, Nine of Cups, how to love yourself. Wow, this connection will be extremely healing for you and good timing here. Yeah, so when you meet your person, if you haven't met them, 
for one. This card always reminds me of um, good timing, divine timing, but you'll feel like this person came through when you needed them the most, really, and you for them. I'm seeing mutual support here. Some of you may have felt used here. Yeah, self-worth comes through again. Let's get one more. What will Scorpio find attractive? Beauty. <laughs> and the fact that you can trust this person. They're reliable. You can lean on them in times of difficulties. Even financially. So definitely emotionally, but definitely when it comes to the material aspect as well. Not that I'm saying... <laughs> I say I'm not saying that you need help or you're less than that is not what I'm saying, but if the need arises, they'll be there for you. It's like your rock. We have beauty. Yeah, for one, this person will really find you attractive. They make you feel attractive. You'll feel good around this person. It's, it's not about what this person looks like. It's more about how this person makes you feel, and they make you feel like you're the most gorgeous, handsomest person on earth, right? So you'll like just spending time with them and i see compliments you know you're beautiful i love your clothes i love your hair on a day-to-day -day basis very uplifting okay so we have clarity but yeah definitely your physical type here scorpio with beauty ace of wands sexual attraction we have clarity here with the binoculars and with focus i'm getting long-term vision that's what i heard when i laid out that card uh, but this, this king doesn't invest in anything short-term. They're not into casual dating, right? There's a purpose here, and this person likely is quite traditional. They want that family unit. Someone they can go back home to. That safety net, and they want that, and they'll see that with you. And they're also quite um, picky with who they get involved with. But... You're their other half. I'm almost getting the queen of king and queen of pentacles here. But yeah, again, I'm being drawn to that Sagittarius energy. Big thinking, you know, looking at things from a bigger perspective. This person, you won't see this person nagging you or, you know, getting themselves involved in petty arguments. They're quick to move on. Yeah, you upset them, they'll communicate with you and they move on. They don't hold on to grudges or anything like that. We have intimidation. <laughs> Little red riding hood. Um, I'm getting this person normally can be hard to approach. Um, they're extremely emotionally guarded and some. it's almost that, that person that's in the room with their arms crossed, right? They look unapproachable. You like that. You like that this person's discriminating. Not discriminating, sorry. That they're choosy when it comes to who they let in um, into their space. And you'll feel honored that this person trusted you enough to let you in. But yes, other people may find your person intimidating either because of size or just their aura, their personality. It, just how self-assured and confident they are can be intimidating. We have home. <laughs> I don't think I need to explain that. You'll have a home with this person. You'll be moving in together. Some of you will be building your dream home with this person. They have the resources. You'll be living in a very... Some of you may like to live in like a farm area, a lot of greenery nature around you. The King of Pentacles normally would like that as well. Taurus energy. By the way, Taurus bottom deck energy. This person can be quite protective. Sometimes can be possessive over you. But I think you'll like that. It's not suffocating or anything. We have opportunity. An opportunity to experience new things through this person. I see they like to travel. Um, you know, try new things. They're extremely open-minded here with Aquarius and Leo energy. A great sense of humor, by the way, as well. I don't think I mentioned that. They may be in Aquarius because we had Sun 11th house. We have Sun in Aquarius, Sun in Libra. Leo, uh, Capricorn, and Taurus are the strong signs coming through. We have 60. Put a spell on you. Charm, seduction, being won over. Yeah, 
if there is any disagreements, this person will likely be the one to apologize. And they are very, they can seduce you when they want something. Yeah, they know, they know what to say. They know what to do. King of Wands, if you've been following Tarot, one of the more charismatic kings, right? Very sexy. I think you'll find them to be sexy. Again, I'm being drawn to the green dress here. This person has celebrated their, they've, they're accomplished, accomplished when it comes to the material world, but I don't think they let success get to their head. They're very humble with the King of Pentacles. We have the ice thaws, relief, alleviation, better days ahead. Yeah, so if you have been going through some challenges with the Five of Pentacles, insecurities, self-worth, whatever your challenge is, the ice will thaw and they are, there is happiness ahead. Wow, it's amazing. But just in general, you don't need this person to be happy or secure, but it's also a message from your guides that if you have been going through some challenges that will pass, don't lose hope here. We have 42. So we have 40, 42, going off grid, unplugging, disappearing for a while. Yeah, I see vacations here. Um, you both, you'll be a very private couple. There's people that, you know, you have friends, a close knit group of people around you, but both of you will um, want to spend a lot of alone time, one-on-one -on -one time together. You don't have to dress up and go out. This person will like that. They'll like to wine dine you, but I also see like candlelight dinners within the home and a lot of passion here. Just the both of you. Some of you may even have a vacation home that is coming through. You'll have the, your very wealthy couple. It's almost power couple vibes. We have 11 fruitful labors and <laughs> growth, birth, manifestation, harvest. So yeah, I'm, I'm seeing abundance all around prosperity, but growth, birth, liter literally children, babies, pets, whatever your situation is. And I'm also being drawn to 11, so 11, 11. We have opportunity again. We had that twice. Timeliness, pay attention, and we had good timing as well. So yeah, you'll meet this person. It's divinely guided. You'll meet them in perfect timing. It's like you're ready. Some of you may have some goals, you know, in terms of your finances or your career that need your attention right now. So you may not be even entirely focused on love when you meet this person. This person will make a great father or mother, extremely nurturing individual. They're perfect. This will be a perfect match, Scorpio. I don't see much challenges here. Well, this is what you find attractive about them, so I'm sure there will be some challenges, but I am getting a little bit of, some of you may meet this person online. We have meeting online. This may be some, there may be some differences in terms of how you handle things on a day-to-day -day basis or your personalities, your temperaments, but this person is very extremely mature. So I don't see them losing their temper or, you know, being impatient with you. In fact, the opposite, they're quite patient. Yeah. Oh, look at that. We had home, going off grid, and comfortable together. Yeah, you just... Seriously, silences won't be awkward in this connection. And you can... Yeah, they're loyal, they're honest. You can trust them when they say something to you. I see a lot of messages, even if this person travels for work or anything, you'll be in touch, a great communicator. What will Scorpio find attractive about the one? I love this reading for you. There's some heavy cards in this deck as well. So far, I like what came through. That wants to be angelic. Aww. I think... You know what, with divine guidance, I think your guides, your angels, whatever you believe in a higher power is blessing this connection. You're being led to them. Yeah, meeting online, but there may be something that's a bit unexpected about this situation, but 
yeah, I was talking about challenges, right? Fives talk about changes, challenges, obstacles to overcome. And it's almost like this person comes through like an angel in times of difficulty. I was telling you that knight in shining armor. <sighs> That's so funny. Loves to stay in. And we had going, unplugging, disappearing for a while. So more introverted energy. Make sure you don't cut off your family, friends, once you meet this person. If some of you have met them, that it, there can be that tendency here. Oh, when I stopped shuffling, loyal, yeah. They're quiet. You'll like that they're not, I mean, yeah, wasn't I saying emotionally guarded? Initially, they will be with intimidated. They don't reveal much, and they have a bit of a poker face, though. It's hard to read, I'm getting but not with you, Knight of Cups. People may be even surprised because they see that you bring out a more lighthearted, playful energy in them, like childlike with the fifth house and 10th house. This person will be extremely playful as a father, a mother, it, even with your pets. I'm seeing a lot of, um, you know, outdoors, even if it's in your own garden, just moving around, doing things, but it has one-on-one. -on -one. This person will prefer it that way. Has integrity, we like that. Strong ethics. You like their work ethic as well and their dedication to whatever their business venture, if they're working in a company, a group setting. Very focused, right? They're on time, on schedule, they're organized. Oh, one more, uh, and the deck just flew everywhere. Judgmental. They can be. I'm getting for the both of you. Yeah, there may be some differences here when it comes to your personalities, but in terms of your background, your beliefs, I don't see much challenges here. And this person can be um, judgmental here. That's more of the King of Pentacles energy, though in reverse. Judgmental in what way? Passionate. Let me see. Oh, in terms of their religion, their beliefs, um, they can be. So they're not open minded when it comes to their beliefs and you know, certain things. This is someone who is religious with Sagittarius ninth house. Religion or spiritual or both, right? And they're likely not to venture out when it comes to, um, you know, what they've, be they believe in what they've ta been taught here when they were younger. And I don't see this person venturing out of their religion or whatever their belief system is. They're following some sort of family tradition. I don't know if I'm making sense. That is what is coming through. What will Scorpio physically find attractive about their person, the one they end up with? What will Scorpio find attractive? We have average height, so something about their height. Average for me can be depending on if you identify as a woman, a man, whatever, but for Men, it can be anywhere from 5'8 to 5'11 or 5'10, I guess. And then for a woman, it can be 5'5 to 5'7, 5'6. But it really depends. I don't know. It, it differs um, country to country. Well, Scorpio find white gray hair. So you'll like, they may have white or gray hair. And then you'll like that, but more so the maturity, the wisdom. I was getting 40, 41, so they can be older. For some of you, not everyone. Um, you'll like their tattoos. Some markings, something. And tooth gap, maybe you'll find that cute, but just their teeth in general. We can't get so specific because it's a general reading. 
but something about their smile or their teeth. And black clothing, you may like them in darker colors. They may dress more formally, I'm getting with the King of Pentacles, some business attire, even suits. Busty chest, okay? If you're into a woman, maybe you like their chest area and they come their aura, something about the aura, they're very powerful. They command respect, people pay attention. And they're noticed. And when they walk into a room with that intimidating, yeah, I'm getting like a CEO or some businessman, woman, a lawyer, I don't know. Like that's the energy I'm getting from them. But regardless of what they do for a living, they, they're well respected. People look up to them. We have mixed colored eyes. So that may be something. I don't know about mixed colors. Maybe their eyes change colors depending on the day, time, whatever. But they can definitely have green or blue eyes. Specifically green was standing out to me in this reading. But something unique about their eyes I'm getting that you'll really like. The shape, the color. You'll like just looking at them, gazing into each other's eyes. Some of you, if you choose to marry this person, I'm seeing a beautiful wedding ceremony here. Four of Wands, Six of Wands. Surrounded by people you love, you cherish. Some of you, it can even be a destination wedding. We have mature. Yeah, I was getting that with the gray hair. You like that this person's experienced. Some of them may have even, and we also have tall. So they're definitely not short for whatever you consider short. We have average height to tall, right? That, you really like that, something about their height. What advice do you have for Scorpio? Unconventional. A different kind of love may not be socially accepted, but don't be afraid to break free and follow your own rhythm to stay true to yourself. I mean, you may be out of their comfort zone, they may be out of yours. There may be an age difference, you know, that you look very different. <laughs> There's a variety of things we can come up with here, but there may be something that's unconventional. But they're saying don't be afraid to break free and follow your own rhythm. Something about family is coming through as well. There may be initially interference from family. I'm not getting that strongly though. But yeah, there is differences here. It's opposites attract. I was feeling that. Golden opportunities and get out of bed. Okay, Scorpio, if you haven't been grasping opportunities or putting yourself out there, this is a reminder. It's hindering this process, right? And it's putting, there's delays here. If you don't, you know, dress up, get out, be seen, whatever. Be safe always, but you will have to leave your home. We have golden opportunities. Again, keep an open mind to opportunities. They are closer than you think. One opportunity used wisely can change your life dramatically. Opportunity is really standing out to me because it came through like four times. Trying is also an opportunity. Trying is a very lucky aspect, and usually it's an opportun opportunity presented, but if we're lazy, I mean, yeah, we can pass by a great opportunity for us. And usually trying represents things that are that come naturally to us. You know what I'm feeling here, where I'm getting, where I'm going with this, is that don't settle. Um, this has to do with your career but also your love life. And there's a need to step out of your safety bubble is what I'm getting with trying. Sometimes that energy is we're very comfortable and things are going well. There's not major challenges, but they're saying um, do, do things to shake up the energy and to challenge yourself from time to time. And that may be how you meet this person. So be open-minded. I'll give you an example. Say you're online dating um there can be some judgments when it comes to that comes to that i'll never do that this is just an example i'm not telling you all to go online date definitely not but yeah if you're close-minded about the idea just be open in all ways right to let this person come in we did see online dating quite a few times that is why i'm mentioning that 
especially if it's like you're living in a small town and it's difficult to meet people, then that is coming through. <laughs> but yes, Scorpio, that is what I have for you. Take care of yourself and I will see you next week. Bye.